This is Mayor Jim Barnes. You're watching Richmond Tourism Talk on Channel 12. Welcome to Richmond Tourism Talk. I'm Samantha Burford. Thank you for joining us today. Tourism Talk. Today, we're with Jerrion Shaw. Jerrion, welcome to our show. Hello. We're very excited to have you, and I know you have lots of exciting things to talk about. And tell us your relationship with the hospital and this exciting event that you want to tell us about today. Okay. Well, I am uh, the Director of Patient Relations at Patty A. Clay, and I also serve as the PACA liaison um, okay. to help oversee um, some of the efforts to organize the PACA Charity Ball. Um, this year, I'm lucky enough to serve as co-chair with Deanne Lynch. Um, we've been working diligently together for several months now to get everything ready to go. She's um, been a wonderful help, great to work with, and yes. really excited to I see know how everything Deanne. comes. Yes, yes. Wonderful person. You she guys is. will do a super job. Tell us when the event is this year. It's on Saturday, June 16th. Okay. Um, it's going to be at the EKU Center for Performing Arts. So somewhere different. So somewhere different. Yes, yes. We uh, When they built the new nice facility, we thought this is a great opportunity. Deborah Hoskins invited us in, is very excited to host us there, and Good. we're really looking forward to a new location. Now, where will it be inside there? It's actually going to be on the stage. So that is even more exciting. Yes, it is. Something it is. unique, a little different. Yes, and you know, you've been, Air condition. If, if you've been to performances, <laughs> you've been on the, the back side of things, but now you're, you'll get to be on the stage and see right. everything from a different view. That's right. That's right. Now, what is the theme this year? I know every year has a different theme. Mm -hmm. This so. year we're going with Studio 54. I'm um, very yes. exclusive, um, elegant, classy, um, you know, with a twist of a little bit of a disco feel, but um, right. definitely very um, exclusive, um, red carpet, right, celebrity-esque type of thing. Okay. So now for someone watching that's never been to the pack ball I've, in the past, when I've chaired it, I've had people ask me, do I need an invitation? How do I find out more information about it? Absolutely. Um, we, we send invitations, of course, to people, but you don't have to be on that list in order to attend. If you don't receive one, you can call me. My number at the hospital is 625-3446. Call me and give me your information. I'll okay. give you an invitation, or you can pay. We're accepting credit cards, check, um, cash, of course, for the ball. Right. So um, it, there's... There's no limit to, to the people that can attend. Now, uh, with it being on the stage, um, we probably can't accommodate everybody in town. So right. I, I would suggest getting your reservations in early if you know that you that you want to attend. So how many do you think it can accommodate? Are we looking at we're looking, 500, we're looking 400? at probably between 350 and 400. Okay. Mm -hmm. but, I mean, of That's course, a lot of people. It is a lot of people. It is a lot of people. For I'm, a good cause. It is. It's a very good cause. Now... The attire for someone that's never been before. We actually get dressed up and go, don't we? We do, we do. It's a black tie event. The men rent their tuxes and the ladies get their ball gowns out. And, um, you know, some in the past year, some ladies have gone with the short little cocktail dresses, but uh, it is a very fancy event and, right. and everybody really enjoys dressing up. Well, and we have several local businesses in town that can accommodate women's, you know, formal attire. Yes. So that's nice. And there's all kinds of I mean, I know the men always wear the tuxes, different colors or whatever, but the women, there's so many different styles now. You can wear short dresses, long dresses. Mm -hmm. And they all look very so, elegant. And some now have 
low in the back, high in the front. Uh -huh. So that's kind of fun. You can yeah, do a little oh, yeah. bit of everything. So are there any sponsors that we need to talk about that's helping put on this event Absolutely. Well, our major sponsors are Central Baptist Hospital and Central Bank. Um, and then we have Anthem as a supporting sponsor and then the Pattier Clay medical staff. And then we have a slew of underwriters um, that are supporting it as well. Um, there's too many to mention. I'm afraid I'd forget somebody, but um, yeah. they are on our website. They're on our Facebook page. Um, so if you're interested to see who's supporting this event, they're all listed there. Now tell us again the date. And then do you want to tell us about the fashion show as well? I do. I do. The date of the ball is June 16th okay. on Saturday. It starts at 8 p.m. and goes 8 until midnight. Mm -hmm. okay. We're starting one hour earlier this year. Oh, good. So it'll good. be at 8 p.m. And the junior hostess presentation will be at 9 p.m. Okay, and that's always important. I have that a friend is. this year whose daughter is going to be a junior hostess. Oh, it's, so. it's a wonderful thing to uh, let the girls go through uh, and do their community service for a couple of months leading up to the ball. Right. And then we actually present them the night of the ball. So that's one of the most special events. It really is in their beautiful white formal gowns. It, it is. is very lovely. It is. And there are 23 of them this year. We have that's a, a lot. <laughs> it is. We have a large that's number. Exciting. So that's very exciting. Um, so leading up to the ball, um, we will have on Saturday, June 2nd, the Junior Hostess Style Show and Luncheon, where we will present the ladies in various different types of e evening wear. A formal affair and the crowning touch are both providing outfits um, for formal wear that day. And then we've got several other businesses in town that are uh, doing like sportswear and casual outfits nice. for the girls. That's um, good. Yeah, so that'll be at Acres of Land. Okay. Um, Amanda V. Stepp is chairing that committee okay. and working very hard on the style show. Great. Um, so people can call That's me a lot for of work. tickets for that too. It yes. is a lot of work. But a is. lot of fun. I've yes. been to that yes. too. So, well, okay. So that is June the 2nd. Yes. The ball is June 16th. For all those watching, know that you don't have to have an invitation. You're welcome to call Jerry and at the hospital. Yes, that's Everyone right. is welcome. The more the merit goes for a good cause. It, it does. Um, just to, if I can tell briefly, sure, this absolutely. year the funds will go toward uh, purchasing a machine that will help uh, with lung patients, um, detecting different types of cancers and diseases. And um, right now, that procedure, we have to send patients to Lexington to have to have that done. And so if once we get this machine here, we'll be able to do those things in-house at the hospital. And we need that. And we need that. Yes. So it's going to be a service to our patients. Um, we've, we have several, several patients that have various lung diseases and problems. So this will be something that we can keep them here. Um, they won't have to travel to Lexington and, and we'll be able to help them with their issues. Excellent. Well, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Samantha. We appreciate it. This is a wonderful event. I know I've attended it many times and I'm looking forward to going this year again. Absolutely. So, well, thank you. Thank you. And we'll be back with more Richmond Tourism Talk.